Hello and welcome to the Library Media Center website. We are going to continue with our figure building now by making some arms to go with the body of the figure that we just made. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw what's called a spleen line. Spleen line is up here on the sketch menu and it's the one that looks like a little curve and when I click on this it's going to allow me to start my figure on the grid. So I'm going to click right here, that's going to be my first point and I'm going to make my shape pretty long and then I'll click on that last point and if I look from the top you can see my shape kind of looks like a long skinny line and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my primitive menu and I'm going to choose a flat circle. So this will not be a sphere, it'll be just a flat circle. You can see it comes in right here. I'm going to make my radius pretty small. I'm going to make it 1.5. So I've got this little circle right here. And then in order to do what's called a sweep, I need to take my circle and I need to three-dimensionally turn it so it lines up with my spleen line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate a little bit so we can see better. I'm going to select my shape and I'm going to whoops go here to move and first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate my shape so it's facing the line and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate it around so that my circle is directly connected to my spleen line like that. So you can see here's the circle and this spleen line is coming out of it. Now what I'm gonna do is what's called a sweep Sweep is up here on the Construct menu. It's the second one over. It says Sweep. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click on the shape that I want to sweep. And then I'm going to click on the path that I want my sweep to go along. And it automatically fills it in as a three-dimensional shape. Pretty cool, huh? So I'm going to rotate back around and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Now this is going to be an arm and so it's pretty long compared to the body. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight my shape and I'm going to choose scale and what the scale tool will do is it will let us just make the whole thing smaller. So you see that arrow appears and I'm just going to shrink the whole thing down. Okay so that's pretty good and now I've got this new shape right here. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to move it so it's closer to what I've got going on here. You can use the grid lines to kind of line up. And then I'm going to rotate it so it's up on its edge. So I have to rotate around to see this disk. So I'm going to rotate that. And then I'll move back around. You can see now it's kind of below the build plate. So I'm going to slide it up and I'm going to slide it over. And I'm going to see if I can't get this. So it's kind of like a wavy arm coming out of my shape. So I kind of like how that looks. That looks pretty good. You'll notice, excuse me, that your uh, two-dimensional shapes kind of show up back here in the background. That's totally fine. You can leave them there. They're not going to print if we were to print this shape. They just stay there because that's what we use to design this three-dimensional shape. I'm actually going to move it and slide it back in just a little bit. And then a really neat feature of this program is that you can use copy and paste. So all you have to do is click on your shape, use Control c on your keyboard, click off your shape, use control V on your keyboard, and it'll look like you didn't copy it. These arrows appear, and the reason why the arrows appear is because it made a copy exactly on top of the other one. So I can either slide this over and leave the arms like that, so they're kind of going all crazy a different way, or if I like it better, I can click on my shape and I can rotate it around 180 degrees and now they're kind of facing the same way. So I can move them around and have them go however however I want, but I want my character to kind of have a crazy arms. So that is how you sweep and connect to a shape with copying and pasting.